Anyone? Thank you very much. And now what should I multiply this row by to eliminate this? By nothing. Or if you want to write 1, because when I add 1 to negative 1, it will disappear. This is our first step. Because we are multiplying row 1, this is the only row that does not change. I have to copy it. And now let's do this together. It looks differently, but it's just the elimination part. So. 1 times negative 2 plus 2. How much? Yeah. Excellent. Negative 2 times negative 2, which is? Negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4, minus 1, 3. Negative 1 times negative 2. That is 2. Plus 1, 3. Finally, 2 times negative 2, negative 4. Plus 4, 0. With the third row now. 1 times 1, minus 1. 1 times negative 2, negative 1 plus 1. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1, minus 2. 2 times 1, 2, minus 4, negative 2. What have we accomplished? A lot. Done. Where is my next step? Right here. I need to get this to be a 1. I have to use row 2 now. What do I do? How do I get this to be a 1? Is there any way? Can I apply any of these three operations? And which one? How do I get a 1 in here? Anyone? Any suggestions? How do I get a 1 in here? The zero right below the three in the middle, shouldn't it be at negative one? Zero? Which one? Uh, the one right, uh, right below the three in the middle, the zero. This one? No, the, the one. Here? Below. The this one. Below. This one? Hmm. Be zero? I mean, minus, uh, minus one, I wrote zero, you're right. Thank you very much, yes. I said minus, I just said negative one and I wrote zero. Very possible. Of course. So negative two times one is negative one. Oh, uh, ne it's negative two plus one. Yes, I did say zero. Yes. Negative two times one is negative two plus one is negative one. Thank you so much. Thank you. My error. My apologies. Okay, so in the next step, we have to divide row three, row two by three. Ready? So 1, 0, 0. Negative 2, negative 1 and 2 get, get copied. Negative 1, negative 3, and negative 2. 0 divided by 3. So this, I, I will never go back to it because it's already done. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 0 divided by 3 is 0. So what have we accomplished? A lot. We got the one that we needed. Using this, we will have to eliminate the top, first row, second column entry, and also 
third row, second column entry. Yes, we have to use now row two, multiplying it by something to add it to row one and eliminate this. And row two, multiply by something, add it to row three to eliminate this. Notice that in the first step, we used row one. In the second step, basically, we have to use row two. And this is the only row that will not change at this point. Of course, I cannot change the first column. That has to be fixed. If I change the first column, I go backwards and I will not solve. So what do we multiply 1 by to eliminate the negative 2? What do we multiply 1 by to eliminate negative 1? Any questions? Wouldn't you just multiply it by 2 to get rid of negative 2? Excellent. And for this one, just 1. Excellent. Let's do that. 1 times 2 minus 2 is 0. Watch my numbers. Once I make one error, then I watch three times. Or I repeat. Uh, 1 times 2 is 2, minus 1 is 1. 0 times 2 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 1 times 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1, minus 3 is negative 2. 1 times 0 is 0, and minus 2. What have we accomplished? A lot. Now this is done. Next, I need to get a 1 in here, because this 1 will allow me to get the zeros at the top. So the question is, how do I get a 1 in here? Divide it by negative 2. Very good. We divide row 3 by negative 2. Awesome. So we get, I'm going to write it here. I copy all this. This cannot change. If it changes, then I'm on the wrong track. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. And I copy the rest. Yes, we, don't, we know that the system has a solution. Can anyone give us any of the x, y, and z? Which one do we have already? z equals 1. We do not have the x and the y, but we do have 0, 0, z equals 1. Because remember, this bar really represents the equal symbol. 0, 0, z equals 1 means that z is 1. OK, so now this is fixed. We have the 1. I need a 0 here, and I need a 0 here. Yes, it's the last step in which I have to use row 3. So I use row 3 to multiply it by something to add it to row 1, and the same row 3 to multiply it by something and add it to row 2. The only row that does not change is the last one now. What do we multiply row 3 by to eliminate these? It happens that it's the same number. Which number? Negative 1. So, negative 1, 1 times negative 1 plus 1. 1 times negative 1, uh, 1 times negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 times negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 0, negative 1. It appears that the ordered triple is 1, negative 1, 1. Do I know that for sure? No. Do I trust it? No. Nope. I have to go back 10 pages ago. And I will plug in 1, negative 1, 1.
1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. Negative 1 minus 1, negative 2 minus 2, negative 4. I'll say yes. I checked. And this is it. Let's choose another and work on another problem. Okay. Anyone would like to choose? Or I will. Okay, so let's choose, um, I don't know, 26. The method is not difficult. If fractions are involved, it becomes a little more, more cumbersome. Uh, it just needs practice, though. So here's a system. x minus 3z equals negative 2. 2x plus 2y plus z equals 4. And 3x plus y minus 2z equals 5. I hope I copied it correctly. I think so. Okay. Notice that if the system is not presented, x under x, y, terms with x, terms with y, terms with z, the equal symbol, and the free term, I have to rearrange it. But it happens that it's already arranged correctly. So now the coefficient will be 1, 0, negative 3, and negative 2. And then we have 2, 2, and 1, and 4. And then we have 3, 1, and negative 2, and 5. So we already have the augmented matrix. And we start the method now. Luckily, yay, it happened that I have 1 already. What if it didn't? Then I would have had to perform some operations to get the 1. But it happens that I have the 1. So in the first step, I multiply row 1 by something to add it to row 2, and the same thing and add it to row 3. Because I have the 1, and now I need the zeros. So what do we multiply by? Negative 2. Yes. Three. Very good. Good. The row that does not change is the one that I'm using. So 1, 0, negative 3, negative 2 is the one that does not change. Good. So 1 times negative 2 plus 2, 0. 0 times negative 2 is 0, plus 2 is 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. I'm confused about the 7. Where did you get the 7 from? Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 plus 1. Right. Okay. Sorry. I was no, 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 no. You, you notice that I also made an error, so I'll, I'll rather go back and do it again. 1 times negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2. 0 times negative 2 is 0 plus 2. Negative 3 times negative 2. Positive 6 plus 1. 7. Negative 2 times negative 2, 4 plus 4, 8. Am I okay? Yes. Keep me on the right on the right path as I'm trying to keep you on the right path, please. So 1 times negative 3, negative 3 plus 3, 0. 0 times negative 3, 0 plus 1, 1. Negative 3 times negative 3. Positive 9 minus 2, 7. Negative 2 times negative 3, 6 plus 5, 11. What did we accomplish? A lot. That is our accomplishment. 
so far. Good. Next step. I need a one here. That's my next target. I could divide both sides by two. I don't want to. Because this would be a seven halves. If I can avoid it, it's not a mistake. Is there anything else we can do? Is there anything else that you could recommend? 